What if Michael Jordan, one of the greatest players of all time, called it twits when he was sent to play on the JV team during sophomore year? Jordan turns to baseball where he hits bombs as an outfielder and develops a curveball that makes people's knees buckle like a seatbelt. Jordan is selected number 18th overall in the MLB draft by the San Francisco Giants. He does decent in double A, but after five years of long bus rides and god-awful gas station dinners, MJ is looking for a change. He uses the cash he won from locker room card games to develop a cigar-infused cologne called Stogie Scent. It's a surprise hit and MJ has dudes across the country smelling like they just stepped out of a humidor. MJ uses his new capital to open up a steakhouse on the top floor of a Dallas high-rise. People love eating in the sky and nicknamed the restaurant Air Jordans. One day in 1999, brand new billionaire Mark Cuban saddles up to the bar and tells MJ that he's looking to buy the Mavericks. Jordan loves rookie big man Dirk Nowitzki and spends the next two hours telling Cuban how Dirk could totally change the game. Cuban can't believe Jordan never hooped, but Jordan doesn't seem phased, responding with, If I played ball, who knows where I'd be? Probably not the proud owner of a steakhouse in the sky smelling like a fresh-as-hell cigar.